felt bad, Mac. You see, Max has been given luck, son of a bitch. Owes me all the money up the wasu and he's nowhere to be found. Say, Mac, what's a girl gotta do to get a drink around here? Whiskey. Neat. I turn up the collar of my trench and inhale on 4th Avenue. The saddest jazz I've ever heard stumbles out of the speakeasy, stumbles and gets caught in my smoke. I look coyly at my gumshoe, confusing my best Ken Novak and some disillusioned dame from a Dick Tracy movie and say, Mac, I'm scared. Scared real bad, you see. I'm all alone in this world and the bastard, I swear I love him, still swear I swear he's in trouble, Mac. I'm in trouble, Mac. You gotta help me. And collapse into apathetic arms, a stoic cheek. Dick was always good with the dames, dizzy dames that ain't got no sense but to stay out of trouble. I flick ashes to the ground, posed against a street lamp, posed against a pole, I sway to the music, crying softly in a bar where there are no people, where Heath tells us to come back, where I make an unappreciated Wuthering Heights joke, where I carry the joke just a little too far, where the accent is just a little too misplaced, where I sway my hips just a little too much and smudge my lipstick. It's cold, and I'm classy in my trench. We click in stereo, our escort heels tapping concrete, clicking on cracks, cracking on clacks, grazing against his pant leg. I look cool when I smoke here, a classy broad who gives no dams about no one, not a damn, a dame who make Clark's head spin, who spins personas, blending into ambiance, embracing roles predetermined by her sex, and her sex is working. <laughs> but he only loves and looks and smiles and doesn't get into it, doesn't play his role, doesn't play the gumshoe would give the dizzy dame what she deserves, throw over his knee like Clark would. Teach her for putting her nose where it don't belong, teach her for not belonging, for posing poised against a street lamp, exhaling and accenting and turning up collars for entertainment. What's this story about? Well, it's an action suspense romantic melodrama with lots of comedy, of course, and deep down underneath, a substrata of social commentary. Vents, steam clouds, orange refractions of street lamps, damp cement under wet suede shoes beat down, translucent. Shop fronts, neon reflecting, fedora tilted low. Trench cinched around the waist, hourglass, beige. A silhouetted echo, a reverberation in the night, the shadow in the corner with a dry martini. Rescending deep red, a gold compact snaps and catches a chandelier, impeccably pressed against a mahogany velvet shadow. A booth with ivory trim, absent-minded irises reflecting a jazz ensemble, reiterating John and Duke's sentimental mood. A Clark Gable mustache sidles in alongside her, 14 karat cufflinks on sheer stockings, back seam, back slit of a tight gray skirt skirting the gaze. Polished fingertips dancing on glass. Stop me if you've heard this one. No thanks. I've already got a drink. <laughs> There's a man on the floor in a pile of slugs. Carpet stains a flask of rye. I've got an alibi, by don't you bother? It's such a mess. Can't you work without a drink? Why don't you offer me a drink? Grab him by the lapels, distract him with a kiss. I run this show like Lauren Bacall. Pantsuits, a glass of bourbon, dry wit, a cigarette always between his slender fingertips. Pull him to the alley, kick him in the stomach. This is a warning. Stop looking. <laughs> Convenient fog cover, suspicious gray Plymouth, white thunderbird with a crisp leather face. A slender ankle stepping out. I keep
keep a coy expression and a smooth demeanor. I keep my dresses pressed and my lips stark. I like my brandy in a glass and dicks like you out of my affairs. <laughs> You'll end in a ditch. Let me have a cigarette, would you, sugar? What if I said I'd done it? I killed him, shot him in the back, and watched him fall. Angel. You could kill a man with that face alone. You don't need no gun. You're lucky I don't hand you to the law. You better get out of this town. So long. I'm blowing this joint. I got a raw deal. Pull up a great Plymouth beside you. Nod my head. Hop in. Your kind always does. We fight because it's dramatic. We exaggerate our voice and script because it's dramatic. I make up my face in soft focus and only make love by candlelight because it's flattering. Because it's dramatic. I smoke and exhale slowly. I poise my cigarette with limp wrist and gaze into the distance. Because it's dramatic. I whisper and draw out my vowels. Breathy. I leave a lot of silence <laughs> because it's dramatic. <laughs> my hair, said I was a girl from Oklahoma, I was safe. Safe until you found me. A rag doll, stitched with bits of fabric, named, renamed by each person who cast her, picks her up, brushes bits of leaves from her hair. Positions, repositions, a sewn on mouth meant to be kissed. I'll let you dress me in your opera gown. Undress me, smear lipstick across my face, smack me, marry me, protect me. <laughs> I'll help you bury the body. Never say a word. I'll walk by your side through the groves and uncomfortable shoes. We almost got away with it. We switched the bodies at the end. The fatal fall flaw was the confession. The explication of the subplot. The supplication in the bell tower. A wrong step out of character. If I do it, do what you tell me, will that do it? Will you love me then? I'm just Holly, a made up name, a no name slob, a phony. But a real phony. Hannah Tawari, everybody.